welcome back to Cyberjocks, where we get your dick licked. Pull the Mac. Blaze it. Oh. No. All right, where are we going? Let's go. You want to go see the fur fight, right? Oh, no. Yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah, Drake, where are you going? You only have three. Well, this is episode four. And you go on. Where are you going, Drake? Straight to your mama's house. You want to see the fur fact, right? Uh, I don't know. This is tough. Let's I mean, try class. We didn't do class last right, time. We're going to school. That day, you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity in this high school. You gain plus two smarts. Wow. Nice, Boom. Dude. Right. Later, you're minding your own business, which soon proves to be difficult when you notice Damien and Scott in the vicinity in the middle of some hot, sweaty arm wrestling. Incest. Unfortunately, you can't enjoy it very long since stupid strong Scott beats Damien in no time. But si but it seems you're not the only one mad at the outcome of the situation. This is so unfair. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's nice. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> no one didn't count, Scott. We saw him wrestle, but with guns. <laughs> but, bro, <sighs> I've got these two guns already. Hey. <coughs> and by guns, I mean my big arm muscles. Which, to be clear, are not real guns. But still. Shut up, elevator, you. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're turning into High School Musical now. <laughs> Yo. Yes. <laughs> Our wrestling proves nothing. Death heroes have very best we should. <laughs> we should scream at a huge rock until it breaks. Just because of the pure right awesomeness. Or we stop doing Tiger with that scary and manly lock. <laughs> Bro. Now you're just quoting off stuff from yesterday's episode of Ultimate Warriors of Mount Awesome. Face it, bro. I'm the Ultimate Warrior. No, our wrestling doesn't mean shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you chief. Not me. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I gotta finish it off. Hey, you chief. Not because of my wrestling isn't going my way, but I just decided you should settle the tie by proposing a way to decide the real Ultimate Warrior is around here. Uh, I I happen to be registered Ultimate Warrior, Judge. I always carry this ten-step ultimate test with me, which is it will require both Second of you one. to do wh one. whatever yeah. I say with no complaints. The real ultimate goal, good boys. Who's ready to follow my lead? Or I can punch the sun in the Second. face. That's easy. Second. <laughs> I don't know, bro. That doesn't even sound possible. I'm fucking it. <laughs> I'm gonna punch that stupid sun right in the face, and I'm gonna. Be a very best. <gasps> anyway, I wanted to punch this on already, so the motherfucker thinks he's fierier than me. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, are you sure about this, Damien? Isn't the sun like a big ball of gas without any real face on it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a way. A little stuff, Harry Loser, was it? <laughs> also, how do you plan to get there and punch it in the face anyway? I mean, the sun is like super far away, Damon. No, no, it's like super, super, super far. I'm like uh, 80 seconds percent sure. Yeah, I mean, you can't get there without a ladder. Yes, God, I know. I'm not in here yet. That's why I will be using a really tall ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, he seems the two of you will need to work out the specifics on that later. <laughs> nah, bros, I'm out! It doesn't even sound like a very nice, nor very possible. I mean, also, the son and I are pen pals. What? <laughs> <laughs> ha! I knew good boys could always be sure enough to bite us at the face! But me, dot dot dot. I'm Damien fucking LFA! Oh my god, there's so much. And I will punch a sun in its fucking face because of all the bad things it's done, like UV radiation and shit, da da da. But mostly because of pure 
gracious, violent, and because I want to become the ultimate warrior, no matter what. Are you free next week, Jeff? I will be needing your smarts to come up with a good plan for not dying while punching the sun. I hope you're ready for some wacky misadventures. <sighs> Tuttle straight in our pot. Maybe even in a love zone. Oh, you about to get it in with a demon. Wow. Let's go. Fuck yeah, you ready for that? It's fucking... It's fucking pretty punch the sun time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and you gained two cave and you want boulders. Eric in a fucking video game, I swear. Yeah, right. yes. What do you want? Oh, Just make boy. a bunch of horny demons date. Well, I want to go... Um, oh, I, you know what? I'm going to go to the gym. Oh shit. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost. We deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirits, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural born leader. You gain two charm. Oh boy. After all that, you decide to look for a spot outside the school where to get some good sunbathing. Hmm. But you fail to focus on your sunbathing since you see Scott and Miranda deep in conversation. It's a sports game thing, Miranda. I mean, I'm a good boy, but there's something that just gets me growling when I see that opposing team. Oh, Scott, believe me, <laughs> I understand better than you think, than you may think. I, it's exactly how I feel about those horrendous air people. <laughs> air people? Yes, Scott, obviously the air people. I know I've told you about them before. They're the sworn enemy of the Mer people, and they must all be destroyed if they refuse to accept our superiority. Oh wow, all of them? That sounds really hard. It will be. They're a horrible, ruthless nation of feathery socialists who refuse to bend the knee no matter how many times my father invades. They didn't like guacamole, Scott. Huh? They eat the crust of their peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. They wear socks with sandals! Oh god. Socks with sandals! <laughs> and fanny packs! Oh man, that's pretty scary enemy. Miranda, what are the mer people gonna do about that? That's a great question, Scott. We tried reasoning with them through bombs, chemical warfare, and torture, but they're entirely unreceptive. Hmm, hmm. it's really weird that you wouldn't sway the air people, but maybe you can step in and help? Scott and Miranda probably have different takes on what the best strategy would be, so think hard about what you pitch. Reaching truce, using great cheerleading skills to put <laughs> an end to this feud. Wipe them out, make the Air Kingdom and the Mirror Kingdom by flooding, by flooding the, sky. the entire sky. What do you want to do? Oh, fuck. Um, I want to I wanna cheerlead them. Yeah. Okay. What? Yes, you're a genius. Cheerleading is always the answer. Scott, as much as I appreciate you, peace isn't the answer with those hideous air people. Also, how do you do blind a wood and end to a few that existed for centuries by cheerleading? Like this. One, two, three, four. Hey, air people, just end this war. Five, six, seven, eight. Richard Peace would really be great. 9, 10, 12, 13. Remember to always use some screen. <laughs> you decide not to point out he's forgotten 11. Just missing one number is quite good by lovely Scott standards. Oh my god. Scott, this is useless. Trying to negotiate with the air people is never an option. But then a slip of paper falls from the sky. Miranda picks it up and reads it. Dear Scott, I really like your cheerleading. Keep being this cheerful. <laughs> Keep being this cheerful. Sincerely, the sun. Oh my god. Hooray! <laughs> This has nothing to do with Fuck. our feud, Scott. <gasps> I guess we should seek air advice from someone else. Have a nice day. <laughs> she might be right, but I won't ever stop cheerleading. Thanks, Red. Thanks, son. Hooray! But then you spot something. Good one, Pi. He totally thinks his friend oh, with the sun oh now. God. We can Please mess here. with his head big time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's here. Right? Also, I didn't want the big guy to feel like his cheerleading was useless. As annoying as it can be sometimes, he doesn't deserve to be sad. Hmm? You know what? I agree. Oh, it was Ryan and Polly once again messing with people's heads. But you know? You know what? Scott is happy and he thinks your idea works, so good enough. You gain two fun and one creativity. I'm so fun. Oh man. Oh man. I want I want a, I want Polly. Go outdoors. There's I someone there. Yeah, but the fur fag's there. Enjoy. I want to see the fur fag. Uh, 
Uh, I want to see Polly. Where would you be? Yeah, it's hard to guess where people will be. I'm hoping she's here. Oh, hey. That day while rehearsing for the class play, you do a terrific job at acting. You act so you act so hard that some of your classmates in the audience throw roses at you. Seven roses to be exact. Damn, roses aren't a valid currency or stat in this game. Anyway, you check your uh, converter app to see if this could translate into something a bit more useful. Hmm, it seems even ro use seven roses equals two creativity points. Woo! Sweet, you gain two creativity. In the wake of all that, you overhear Miranda and Polly discussing a party. Yes! Ah! <laughs> oh, Polly, I'm terribly excited for your upcoming party. Oh yeah, it's gonna be sick! Speaking of which, you've got money, right? How about picking up some party favors? I don't oh, know. I'd be delighted! How many blue shaper does- <laughs> Yeah. I don't care, just make sure you get enough nitrous oxide to fill them all. What? Nitrous oxide? Is that some land dwellers breathe? Well, it's pretty much all I breathe, if that's what you're asking. Hmm, <laughs> I don't know Why? about that. How yeah. about cake? What kind of cake would you like? Cake? I think you're mispronouncing cocaine. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced cake. I like mine with pink frosting. <laughs> and I like mine injected into my eyeballs. And speaking of eyeballs, I don't think we're really seeing eye to eye right now. Oh my god. Too true. Perhaps our friend Wiki can suggest some mutually agreeable use for my vast riches. Uh, to get Polly Pinata, you don't want anyone to get hurt, though. There's safe things filled with nice soft bags of cocaine. <laughs> Miranda, you like clowns, right? I know there's a lot of stuff that lets you hire clowns from our doctors and tuxedo guys. It's called DefinitelyNotStrippers.com and it's 100% legit. <laughs> I think we're gonna get some coke. Gonna get some coke. Oh, I was eating dark pinatas! But I always fear that. I always fear them since the jewel goblet fell on the paper mache llama at my 13th birthday party and killed the Prince of Lemuria. Plus, pinatas are so hard to get since the Great Pinata Massacre. What the fuck? But cocaine is excellent and harmless all to jewel goblets, so much cheaper. I'll let my men order a pile of it immediately. Fuck yeah, party! Due to the global pinata shortage, you just end up with a big pile of cocaine. Oh darn. You get yeah. two fun and one boldness. Wow. Yes! Yes! Or four. Where are we going? Uh, Perfect. Uh, <laughs> fuck you, no library. God, you guys are pussies. Ooh. That day, you spend some time in the library's PCs playing some good online poker. Gambling seems, seems like a stupid and dangerous decision, but who cares? This time it paid off, so fuck it. You gain two money. Yeah! You see Damien and Miranda with their heads in, the, in their hands. They look glum. You ask them what's up. Uh, we're bone. I do not know what this bone means. Hmm? But I'm not optimistic about our chances on the upcoming exam. It's not there. I shouldn't have to fail at this. Just because it's been a week, really, really bosh pit, instead of going to class. And I did study! I had my servants read the entire textbook, twice. But for some reason, my servants aren't allowed to take the test for me. Well, there's only one thing left to do. Chop up the teacher in the mouth about your ass. No! There has to be another way! Doesn't there? Okay. Hmm. Uh, Easy, just a lobby government. Just lobby the government until they remove the class from the school system, or you don't need to murder your teacher over something like just to burn the entire school down. Yes. That one? Uh, yep. Okay. Man, I'm sick of people assuming I want to set things on fire all the time just because of a demon. Well, you do seem to enjoy <coughs> setting things on fire. Maybe. I mean, shut up. Anyway, setting the whole school on fire seems like. Way more work than I had to marry one teacher. Plus, if I burn down the damn... Oh, shit. <laughs> Added that out. Plus, if I burn down the whole school, i have had to destroy some of my favorite rooms. Like, the cigarettes and cocaine room. That's my what? favorite room. Oh, wow. What is a cigarettes and cocaine <coughs> room? Oh, sorry, you probably know it's a bathroom. David explains that mm. he well, what he means to Miranda while casually bleeding the... Beating the piss out of you. You lose two fun and minus one boldness. Wow. Oh. That, that weekend. Actually went bad for Ooh, you. something happened too. Red. Whoa, what? Uh-oh. Bye. Red. That weekend, you're having some sick milkshakes with your bud Scott, Miranda, and Damien. Conversation is chill and weird, and you're, you're, uh, and you're listening to Scott talk about stuff that makes no sense, but you're enjoying yourself. 
You know what? I think we got to call this next time on Cyberjocks. We'll see what happens. 